nobody's going to come knocking at your door like hey this is going on that is going on you need to come out and meet some black people not all black people are the same and are going to speak the same way as you have the same views as you think the same way as you good y'all it's your girl Janae Imani back again with another video and today is going to be another back to school video for today's video I'm going to be talking all about being black at a PWI which if you don't know is a predominantly white institution basically I'm just going to be talking about my experience as well as giving you guys some advice and like things that I did that really helped and I feel like you guys should do too I do have general tips for being at a PWI as a person of color but I am kind of going to be focusing a little bit more on being black at a PWI just because that's my experience. That's really all I can speak on. But some of the advice is general and can be used by other people of color. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Any questions that you guys might have or if you just want to have a conversation, I'm totally down. I respond to everybody. Also, don't forget to subscribe from the Janation. You know, we almost have 400 subscribers, all right? So run it up. So make sure you guys are sharing this video. Follow me on all my social media. Everything is down below in the description box as well as right here on the screen. Also, if you guys want to DM me any questions, you can do that. I did get some questions throughout my freshman year, so I'm going to be answering some of those today. But if you have any further questions, always let me know. If you do not know, I'm a state finalist in the Miss New York 2020 pageant, and I have a GoFundMe for my sponsorships. And if you would like to support me, the link is down below in the description box and I really appreciate it. Also, I will tag the video right here that you guys can check out that talks a little bit more about that. If you guys want to hear about my experience of being black at a predominantly white institution and get some advice on how to navigate that, keep on watching. So I feel like one of the first things that I kind of want to talk about is your background does play a role into how you are going to be being placed into a PWI your first year. It's not like the end all and be all because you can definitely actively change how your first year will be, but I feel like it does influence at least the first part of your year. I have always grown up in a predominantly white area, so going to a PWI wasn't a big change. It was something though that I had to kind of decide on because I didn't want to have that same experience that I've had forever but ultimately like looking at the different options I had out of the schools that I applied to Binghamton University was the best school academically and honestly I mean that's the reason you go to college right so that is what I chose I definitely did have some reservations on the black community there the way I feel like it influences is because if you're used to that environment it's not like a big culture shock it's kind of like okay here we go this again but if you're from like really urban areas if you went to a predominantly black school or where there's just always people of color around like you're not necessarily a minority in your environment then switching to a PWI where you quickly become a minority and it is very noticeable and it's made very obvious it is a big change and it can be hard to navigate and it can be difficult so that's why I say it influences it because that's how you're initially going to come in how you handle that is up to you also I feel like even within the black community like being from a predominantly white area and being from an urban area like New York City, um, just because I go to Binghamton, which is in upstate New York. So New York City is like our urban area or city. There's obviously a difference in the black community itself. People who are from Long Island or upstate or the city, like you can see a difference. And so I feel like even within the black community, sometimes there is a separation. People are like, oh, well, you're not like black, black. And I'm just like, what do you mean? I feel like what's really important to understand when you go to college, like yes, there are other black people, but not all black people are the same and are going to speak the same way as you, have the same views as you, think the same way as you. Like you do have that commonness of being black, but there are still other traits and thought processes or whatever that come with humans in general. So don't get caught up in like all black people are just like you. So kind of going off of that, you're not going to get along with all black people or you're not going to vibe or want to be friends with all 
black people that are going to be at your school just because you're black you know like yes you guys have that in common but there like I was saying there are still other things that determine like a person and you can't just go off of like what you see and that they're black and then just know that like that's okay a really important thing that I feel you have to do as a black student at a PWI is to be proactive nobody's going to come knocking at your door like hey this is going on that is going on you need to come out and meet some black people it's not how it works you have to be proactive and find those things you can talk to people who are most likely going to know what is going on like your RAs um, if you have a black RA which I mean that's that's another thing I'll talk about that right after I finish talking about being proactive find friends like you need at least one person who can help you get in with what is going on in the black community I know at Binghamton there's a multicultural resource center which I feel like if you were to go to them they can definitely let you know like what some of the black events that are going on are so that you can start meeting people for me honestly I was eating lunch one day with some of my friends and I was approached by a guy and he was on the executive board for the black student union and he told me about their annual fashion show and that I should try out to be a model that's kind of how I got into everything honestly it was from that conversation every fall there is U Fest, which is University Fest where where all the organizations on campus or a majority of them come out and they table around campus where everybody can just walk around see all the different organizations get to know a little bit about them I feel like most schools should offer that if your school offers that you need to be there okay that is how you're going to learn about all the organizations on your campus that are catering to your community and that's how you're going to meet those people that you want to meet once you kind of start going to either those meetings or you're getting involved in events you're gonna meet other people and most likely upperclassmen upperclassmen are great for freshmen because they can let you know all the ins and outs and different things that are going on and help you get in so that's like my next important thing is that you want to get involved in your community i'm speaking on the black community but whatever your community is get involved in it that is the only way you're going to meet those people you're going to feel more comfortable if you're putting yourself out there and you're getting to know these people you're putting yourself in spaces to meet these people then you'll be fine so a lot of you were asking me like obviously the black population at my school Binghamton, isn't high which at pwis they're not you guys kind of just wanted to know my experience what i thought about or how I felt about that, how I navigated that. I was telling a lot of you that it's all about who you surround yourself with. For me, personally, I was involved in a lot of black events, a lot of black organizations, and I was making a lot of black friends. Most of my free time, at least when I wasn't in class, I was surrounded by black people. I didn't necessarily feel like I was at a PWI because of who I was surrounding myself with, what I was surrounding myself with, and I felt comfortable with that. I wasn't just only being in white spaces all the time. I'll get into like different organizations and things I think are good that most schools should have. I was on a dance team, I was involved with BSU, ASO, CSA. I'll explain all those a little bit later. It's like, I can't stress that enough, it's all about getting involved in those things. So earlier I kind of touched a little bit on the dorm situation and like if you have black RAs. So depending on where you're living on campus, like your living space, that can also play a role into how you feel about the whole PWI thing. I know at least at Binghamton there are different housing communities that generally have more people of color or black people. And then there are other communities that are usually predominantly white. I'm in Dickinson which is predominantly white. I think on my floor there were one, two three, four, five, six, six black people, including my RA, on my floor. And the building, there was not that much more. When I would feel like I was at a PWI, it was either when I was in my room. I mean, I had a single, but I lived in a suite with four other girls. They're all white, but one was Hispanic, but yeah. I would feel like th that whole PWI vibe when I was in my building or like suite and definitely at classes. So your classes, because you're at a PWI, it's going to be majority white people. <laughs> but if you have black RAs or people of color that are RAs, they can help you to find those things. If you just haven't heard anything or if you wanna like try to get to know a little bit more from a personal aspect, those people can really help you out. Or like I said, going to like a multicultural resource center, they can let you know the rundown on all that. So events are really important to helping your experience as a black individual go better. I feel like what people desire that a PWI doesn't always provide is that black culture 
you know, that you would get at like an HBCU. I mean, you know, we have, at least I think we have those little events when we're all like, I love my little HBCU, you know, like our black community. We kind of make that, you know, I feel like that's what happens at PWIs, you make your own experience as the black community. Events are important. That's how you're going to tap into that culture that you're missing or that you're used to having or that you kind of wanted to have but you didn't go to an HBCU and now you're at a PWI. So whether you're participating in those events or you're just attending those events, it's a great way to meet people. So organizations are also a really great thing to get involved in. The way it works at Bing is the executive board does, you know, all the planning and everything, but you can be a member, you can just attend their weekly events, weekly meetings, you don't have to go to every single one if you don't have time, just go when you feel like it. Having those spaces where you can talk with other people who are just like you, who are in the same boat as you, is really important. I know I went to a lot of Black Student Union meetings and they talked about some really great things and it was just being able to have that space where you have other black students talking about the same thing you can relate you don't get that when you're in your suite you don't get that when you're in your classes so it's nice to have so some organizations that i think are good are definitely the black student union and the caribbean student association i mean i'm jamaican so that's what i tapped into if you're not caribbean i mean you can still go they're not gonna like outcast you it's to cater to the caribbean population but also to educate the entire school on Caribbean culture. NAACP is a good one. Lasso Latin American Student Union. And then there are usually dance teams that are like a cultural dance team. Like I know at Binghamton, there are the dance teams that like perform at open house, basketball games, things like that, which are I think Kickline, the Binghamton dance team, and like the cheerleaders. There are also other dance teams that aren't really advertised as much, but they're the cultural dance teams. The one that I'm on is BDR, which is Black Dance Repertoire. We do different styles of dance. We do jazz, hip hop, modern, Latin, reggae, African. We get asked to perform at different events and we host events. There's also I still don't know if I'm saying this right. Uya Anua, Uya Anua is an African dance team. And then there's also Kimbamba, which is a Latin dance team. And I feel like most schools should have those different cultural dance teams. Obviously, they're most likely going to be different names and things like that, but the same idea. Next year, I'm going to be the secretary for the Caribbean Student Association. So I will be on the executive board, as well as co-costume co chair for my dance team. So I will be on that executive board. So somebody had asked me if like the black if I felt the black community at Bington was close. I kind of want to say yes because I feel like I mean at least me being a freshman I met I feel like the majority of the black people on campus during my first year. There are still people that I do not know. Obviously my school is big, but I feel like the people who go to events and like are always out doing things like I've at least seen their face even if I don't know who they are. I've seen their face around. But yeah, I feel like a lot of people are involved in a lot of the same things. You know, the community isn't that big. One thing that I feel like you can do is to take like black classes. I took a Black Lives Matter class my first semester and I feel like that was really important just because yes I'm black but there are still like black things I guess or black history that I don't really know because high school doesn't really teach you all like that. I feel like there's still so much that you can learn that you can actually really benefit from like it's a class that relates directly to you and so I feel like why not learn about more of your culture and then also you're going to meet other black students but in an academic setting rather than just like a recreational setting so that's great. Those classes are usually taught by a black professor so it's good to know some black professors and have that relation as well. So that kind of goes into my next thing which is finding black professors. I also took an African dance class which isn't like for black students. There were other students in that class as well. I know a big class that a lot of black students at Bing take is Africana studies or like in intro to Africana, something like that. But yeah, I feel like having black professors is important because I don't even know how to explain it. But I don't know, I feel like it's different when you have information coming at you from somebody who can understand it from your perspective as well. Yeah, it's just nice to have those black professors. They can be hard to find, but also, you know, ask around, see what other people have taken and kind of try to find them even if you're not just taking your their class but you know you just have them as somebody who you can talk to somebody you can refer to another important thing is to be comfortable or at least try to start getting comfortable with being with people outside of your community outside of your race it's like even in things like in your classes you're going to be in those settings where you're not going to be in a highly like 
populated area of minorities you want to be able to be comfortable in those areas like yes you're going to be a little uncomfortable but when I say get comfortable like get comfortable with the idea that that is going to happen and it's just a part of life so that you're not as shell-shocked every single time you walk into a class and you're the only black girl or you're the only black student or there's like you can count the black people in the room on your hands you know because realistically like that's how it's going to be in most workspaces as well so you want to get used to that which I feel like that's something that like a PWI can provide that HBCUs don't really I've gotten some questions about like have I experienced racism at Bing when I say that I can't think of a specific instance that comes to my mind I feel like there were some things that were kind of hmm, sus but I don't remember like specifically but I mean there are obviously microaggressions that happen all the time and it's just racism is everywhere you know like I feel like you're not going to find a college but it's not gonna happen whether it's professors or workers or other students like staff it is what it is the best you can do is educate people ignore and get them out another thing to remember be aware of is that not all white people are bad like you can befriend white people and be able to be comfortable with them comfortable to a point and <laughs> have relationships and conversations with them you know but what I will say is to just be aware you know there are like you know I was saying microaggressions it can be very ignorant to topics or situations they honestly just don't know some things and so you can be you can educate them in those areas but just to be aware that you know they're being respectful and don't take anything you shouldn't have to take stand your ground I just don't want you guys to be closed off to meeting white people and interacting with white people so that is all I have if there's anything else you guys want to talk about like I said leave a comment down below give this video a thumbs up if you thought it was any bit helpful and of course subscribe join the donation get me to 400 Follow me on all my social media, everything's down below in the description box, as well as the link for my GoFundMe for Miss New York. That is all I have for you guys today. I will see you in my next one. Bye. And that's all. Period.